Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add an external style sheet and apply styles using Composer. Go ahead and close out of this, not save it. And I'm going to open up an index page I have developed with no formatting, no styles applied. As you can see, we have body text here. So the entire page is really uh, written with body text and paragraph throughout. So we've got in the source code, you can see just basic HTML. We've got body, and then in different areas we have paragraph uh, tag set up. So a paragraph here, and this could have been done by just uh, highlighting the area you want it to be a new paragraph and using a paragraph uh, up here as your drop down paragraph style. All right, so let's make some changes to this page. First, we need to create our external style sheet. We're gonna do this with Notepad, not with Composer. So if you have Notepad, you, you do on your computer, go ahead and open it up. And in this case, we're just gonna click on File, Save As, and we're gonna put this in our directory. So we have a folder uh, for this project. Um, it's called Project One. We have images. We're gonna call this uh, main.css. So you wanna make sure you put it in your directory for your website. And you're going to have to add the .css at the end or it will be saved as a text file, not a cascading style sheet. So in this case, we're calling it main.css. That's all you need to do. Once that file is saved, you can close out, but you can see it's not yet attached to our page, so we need to attach it to in Composer. So with Composer open, we're gonna click on the CSS um, button here, and then from the dropdown, select uh, linked style sheet, and we're going to choose that file we just created. Click on open and then create the style sheet and you can see we have it there. I'm just gonna click okay. Now in this case, we want, we're gonna add a um, couple styles. We're gonna add heading one, heading two, uh, paragraph and body. Body's gonna change the background color of the page. Paragraph will change the font of any paragraph text and heading one and two will be specific colors. Um, in addition to that, we'll do one class, um, uh, we'll call it my, my Style, a class called My Style, and we'll make that special as well so you can see how that is used. Any classes you create will be here, available up here, as you've learned previously from the drop-down menu. Alright, so now we're ready to apply some styles. So I'm going to go to my cascading uh, style area, select Main, CSS, and I'm ready to add a style, so I need to click on the drop down and choose style rule. Now I'm going to select from the drop down list here, I'll just say heading one, create style rule. And I want my heading one text to be, um, I'm gonna use the, like these red and blues theme here because I've got my Google Plus and my YouTube here. So I'm gonna go with color first and I want the heading one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it be like a red color. Uh, that looks good. And I want my heading to be, I can choose from this drop down or I can make it specific. So I'm going to say heading ones are going to be 24 points. And I want to make sure that the style, um, or in this case the weight, I'm sorry, is bold. So that's what I want my heading to look like. Um, and then I'm going to click OK. I have an applied heading here, but if I wanted to now, I could highlight this and I can select heading one and now it's red. If I have six pages in my website and through and I attach the CSS uh, style sheet to those pages, anytime I just change it to heading one, my heading one will stay styled the way I want it throughout. Now let's add a heading two. Click on cascading style sheet, main CSS, and then I create a style rule. So in this case, I'm gonna choose heading two and click okay. Create style rule, I'm sorry, and then click on text. So I want my uh, font family to be uh, the Ariel, Helvetica, and Sans Serif. And I'm going to make my font size, since I did uh, 24 point for my heading, I'll do 18 point for my um, heading two. And I do want the weight again to be bold, but I'm going to make it italic as well. And for color, um, I'm gonna make it like a gray color. So I'm gonna go into color and choose like a dark gray and then click okay. And then I'm gonna highlight 
this date here and change this to heading two and you can see the style is applied. But then I realized that I wanted a sans serif font for heading one. So how can I fix that? I just go to cascading style sheet. I click here. I select heading one. I go to text and I choose the predefined, resave it, and now I have that sans serif uh, font applied here as well. The next thing we're going to do is apply body background, body background. So again, go to cascading style sheet, select main, style rule, and here I'm going to choose uh, body here. And I'm going to create the rule. And I want my background color, uh, let's see, what do I want my background color to be? I'm going to choose, um, well, let's see. Go ahead and see what this light blue looks like. All right, it's not the best, but we'll run with it for now. And then we'll click OK. So you can see that by selecting body, it changed the whole background color of my page. So I click OK and leave it at that. Why did it do that? If I click on the source code, you can see my body tag starts here and it ends at the bottom. So everything within the body tag is going to have that rule applied. So it's basically my whole web page. All right. And then finally, we're going to do a paragraph uh, style. So cascading style sheet, main, click here, style rule. You can go ahead and change paragraph, create style rule. And I, again, I want to keep that, you know, that sans serif family going. And I'm going to have the body be uh, 12 point all the time. And then I want it to be italic, let's say. So there we have it. There's my body. And you can see, or my paragraph, apologies. So you can see that anything within a, a paragraph tag is, uh, is italic and, um, and a 12 point sans serif. So I click OK. If I hover over, if I click here, you can see it's paragraph. And if I click down on web page, paragraph. Why didn't email change? Because when I select this, it just says body text. So there's no special text style added to body text. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply my own style. Uh, remember I said we were going to apply a class called My Style. So go into Cascading Style Sheet and click on that. Choose Style Rule. And we're going to create a class. So I click on Style Applied to All Elements of Class. And then here I'm going to call it My Style. We can call it email if I wanted all the email tags you know at the bottom uh, to be a certain way create style rule now what do I want here well I'm going with the the sans serif staying consistent throughout um, but I also want to make it a a, a larger font um, so I'm gonna say 20 point and it's gonna be bold And I can even align it so anything tagged there can be aligned center, so let's say. And then I'll put blinking here and click OK. So I have my style. All right. Now, the minute I highlight this, up at the top now, I can choose from this list and apply my style. And you can see it's blinking. And again, if you don't want, if you wanted to change that, you say, oh my gosh, that cannot possibly stay like that. You go back to your style sheet. Click here, grab your My Style class, go to Text, uncheck Blinking, click OK, and you're all set. Save your page. Highlight this. And not blinking. All right, so you should have enough information now to create your external style sheet. Again, you create it using uh, your notepad, attaching it by going to CSS and then adding an external or a link style sheet and adding your rules.